This is Larry Under Pressure. In this video, Larry will be demonstrating how to make a quick breakfast of delicious pancakes quickly and easily in the Dash Mini Griddle. So let's get into the kitchen. Hello everybody, this is Larry from Larry Under Pressure and I'm fixing something real simple and something all of you have all figured out, but just to reinforce how easy breakfast can be and how quick it can be with the Dash Mini Griddle. I'm going to fix some pancakes that I don't even have to get battered together, just a little bit of water. So I've got the Dash Mini Griddle and it's preheated and I'm going to spray a little bit of butter flavored um, spray in. And then I'm using what I like to use when I'm doing it quick and simple. I'm using the um, Bisquick Shake and Pour and to this all you do is add one and one half cup of cool water, shake it up and you've got pancakes. So I'm going to pour it in the preheated griddle. Close the top and we're going to wait about a minute and a half to two minutes and we're going to take it out. One thing I like to do is kind of cheat a little bit. I like my pancakes real thin because it makes them, I think, more flavorful and better to eat. So I make my batter thin to pour in and it doesn't rise as much, but it doesn't touch the top plate like it should in the griddle. So the bottom of it's done, but you have to flip them. But that's okay because it only takes another maybe 30 or 40 seconds. So we flipped it and we'll be back and check it. It's been in the mini, mini griddle now for about three minutes, three and a half minutes, and it should be done. Yes, it's perfectly brown and ready. Let's go ahead and put that on the plate. We're going to pour another one in the griddle, and then we'll put some butter on the first one while this one begins cooking. We'll multitask a little bit. There's the second one. We're going to close it down, come over here and get some butter on this first one. So it can be soaking into it. And then we'll be right back in just a minute and get the second one out. It's been about two minutes, so time to flip. Remember, those of you who want to criticize about me flipping them, both sides of the mini griddle does heat, and with thicker batter, it'll do both sides at the same time. But I like them thinner, and that's the reason I do it this way. Look how beautiful that is. So that's why we do that. Also, a point to remember, we could use the Dash Mini Waffle Baker and do this same exact recipe, same exact technique, and make waffles as well. So we'll come back in about a minute and a half and this one will be done and we'll do a third one and then we'll give them a taste test. It's time to get the second pancake out and now we have about seven minutes invested. There's the second one. They smell nice. And we're going to put the third one in while we put some butter on the second one. The main point I want to make in doing this is how easy it is with this mix already being made up in the, in the bottle that you just add water. It's not real expensive. I think it was about mm, $3.60 maybe at Walmart, so it's not very expensive. Let's put a little bit of butter on the second one. When we get the third one, we'll put some apple butter on it to finish it up. And the apple butter is some that I made in a video a couple days ago. And it turned out absolutely delicious. I now put a link in the information below to the recipe and the video on that apple butter. So if you want to make some for yourself, you can. I'll be back in a minute and we'll flip this last pancake. It's been a couple minutes on this third one. Let's take a look and flip it over. Also, something I neglected to tell you, these are very good if you want to buy some either fresh or frozen 
blueberries and sprinkle them on there as you put them in the mini griddle and cook the blueberries in there. It makes a really great taste and a good look. I'll be back and we'll finish this up. All right, this third one's done. Let's remove it from the mini griddle. Put it over on the stack. One nice thing about doing them in the mini griddle, mini griddle too, is that they alternate exactly the same size, real consistent. It's kind of neat the way it looks. And we're gonna add some of the apple butter that I made last week in the video to the top of it. How delicious does that look? And then I'll be right back and we're gonna give it a taste test. Obviously we could put jelly or preserves or syrup or honey or anything else we wanted on this. I just particularly like the apple butter that we made last week and we're gonna have that on it since it turned out so well. Let's give this a taste and I'll let you know. Mm. Nice hot pancakes with plenty of butter and apple butter. Doesn't get much better than that. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. We appreciate all the subscriptions. Love to host these videos and we'll keep doing plenty more. Hope you enjoyed this one and hope you can fix one of these just like this for breakfast. Maybe do it tomorrow with a little bit of sausage also in the mini griddle. Makes for a great breakfast and it's real simple. We'll see you on the next video. So take care until then. This has been a production of Larry Under Pressure. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, we would appreciate your considering doing so below or by clicking on the red box at the bottom right of this screen. It helps the channel and costs you nothing. In addition, you will find an Amazon purchase link below for several of the Dash Mini products we use here. They're game changers and make amazing gifts for Christmas, which is coming up soon. I'm Andrew, voice of the channel, and I thank you for visiting us. We look forward to seeing you again on our next video. Until then, take care and God bless.